Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have any of the following three cars. I'm talking about Porsche Cayenne, Audi Q7 or Volkswagen Touring guys. If you have any of those, you have coolant leaks. We will explain a common place to develop a coolant leak out of the alternator guys. Your alternator on the V8 engine are actually uh, water cooled. So we will explain how they can actually leak. And the number one reason for that, that can cost you probably less than 5-10 bucks to fix it. So before we start, let me introduce you guys. If you need uh, to buy any parts or tools, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all the tools and parts from. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's explain, okay, what we have here now guys. Now, this is a specifically a Porsche engine, but as you know, that suspension, that body style, everything has been used on Audi Q7, Volkswagen Touring guys and Porsche uh, Cayenne. For instance, even the suspension is Audi and Volkswagen part number. But uh, the engine it, it, on its own, it's a Porsche engine, 4.5. But you will notice even if you have a Porsche, Volkswagen, Audi, 4.5, 4.8, 4.2, V8, all the V8 engines come with a water-cooled alternator. And once in a while you develop a leak from there okay and you wonder where guys now let's explain that there are two possibilities where you can develop a common coolant leak on these alternators and if you don't fix it what will happen your coolant level will drop and you can overheat your car so be very careful guys also you have to follow a specific procedure to bleed the cooling system we have a video that explains that on a Porsche Cayenne how to bleed cooling system otherwise you can severely damage your car so we were guys okay we had a coolant leak on this one and uh, we have guys this fitting on one side where the coolant enters okay that went completely bad and we had to replace it with a new one you have an o-ring there okay and you can see okay how much it goes in right like that and now let me show you okay what we have here that's our old one broken cracked from all the heat okay being old so that's a common problem now you have an o-ring there as well those o-rings even if yours is not broken or cracked can develop a leak when they get old the other one where the coolant exits is right here okay if you pay attention it's this one then broken again guys o-ring fell out so we need to replace it with a new one which comes right here usually you have two fittings on your alternators okay one exit one uh, enters uh, and uh, you will have an o-ring make sure that this o-ring sometimes will be the only problem causing the leaks because they'll flatten they'll uh, not seal good and as a result you develop a coolant leak now when you replace those you have to drain the cooling system completely replace them Fuel the cooling system, bleed the cooling system. If you don't do that, the bleeding procedure, you can severely damage your engine, guys. So always follow the bleeding procedure for your model. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you experiencing something like that. You have an idea what causes the leaks. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.